Hi, my name is Trevor Tysman from kbandstraining.com, and today we're going to be working the drop step power dribble. By adding resistance with the reactive stretch cord, we're going to be working our hips and our explosiveness upward under the basket. To set this drill up, we're going to need a basketball, two agility cones, as well as the reactive stretch cord to help add that resistance throughout each layup. Go ahead and strap the belt tightly around your waist so that we don't have any extra movements. Now go ahead and grab your reactive stretch cord and go ahead and clip it to the Easy Slide D-ring. This is going to allow us to be able to maintain full speed with the power dribble moving into the layup and that ring is going to slide around naturally giving you the right resistance needed. Anchors, you're going to be moving and working your hands up and down the stretch cord to make sure that you're given the optimal amount of resistance. You've got to work, you've got to get from side to side and make sure that you're given the resistance for a vertical leap. During this drill, we don't want to pull them off their center of gravity. We'll do that in other drills. This one specifically, we're going to try to get that as vertical as we can, adding that resistance going up. This is going to help teach our basketball players to be powerful and go up through the basketball through any traffic that might be there. A couple key things we want to focus on when we're working on our vertical. We've got to stay short and we've got to be explosive. So don't take this into a minute, two minute endurance type of drill. You want to maintain that explosiveness in short sets. With set lengths of about 15 to 25 seconds, shooters are going to feel very exhausted. So we want to give them the right amount of rest as well so that we can make sure that we stay explosive to build that vertical. Also keep in mind it's important that you focus on trying to jump as high as you can through the resistance each set. Anchors, if you add too much resistance and the athlete is not coming off the ground, that's not what we want to do. We want to allow them to move through a good range of motion and have to explode through that resistance early and get up and have a nice form, good work on the layup. The reactive stretch cord is built with two multi-flex resistance bands inside to challenge even the most advanced athletes. Remember, all you need to do is shorten up the resistance band and you're going to provide more resistance for stronger athletes. Basketball players that are just beginning, go ahead and give them a little bit of length and they'll still find the resistance they need to improve their skills. Complete four to six sets of this and maintain that high level of explosiveness. Keep your rest periods consistent and keep the intensity high. As you finish up with this drill, you can move on to some ball handling drills or some over speed training drills to work on your quickness on the court. If you're looking to improve your vertical through resisted jump training, Grab your reactive stretch cord today at kbandstraining.com.